What's up, Pisces? It's West Coast Tarot with your January How Do They Feel About Me love reading. This is for my lovely Pisces, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading and may not resonate with every Pisces out there. But if you like my style and I've vibed with you, please like and subscribe to catch future West Coast Tarot videos. If you want to purchase a personal reading with me, we go more one-on-one -on -one into your specific situation or want to know about any of the tarot cards that I use, all that information can always be found down below as well as how to contact me with business inquiries. So guys, this is a general, as always in a general, roles can be reversed, energies can be reversed, and cross watchers. This very well may play out from your perspective. So just apply it where it fits, and if it's not for you, it's definitely not for you. So this is for those who need guidance and clarity. Maybe you're not talking to your person. Maybe there's no communication. You just don't know where their head's at. Um, if, you just, if that sounds like something that you're going through, then this is a video for you. So Spirit, please bring forth the current energy surrounding Pisces in regards to love for the month of January. How does a person feel about them? How does a person feel about them, please? How does a person feel about them? Okay, so we have four of blades, seven of coins, queen of blades, two of wands, seven of blades reversed, and five of wands. Bottom of the deck, we have nine of blades. So this is definitely, I love this card. Look how cool it is. Look how cool it is. Um, this is definitely stressing out. So someone's stressing out here. Someone could be numbing themselves. Um, losing track of time, avoiding you, not wanting you to see them, um, just not taking care of themselves, um, could be sick as well. Okay, so I do feel like someone's not taking care of themselves, someone's stressing out, someone's having anxiety, um, trying to numb the pain, someone's really in their head, um, and not working. I just feel like this is someone who's not working on themselves, they're not manifesting, they're not doing what they need to do. Okay, there could definitely be someone that you guys, some of you could be connecting with someone who's sick, um, okay, because what this person's showing you is four blades. This is definitely someone who really isn't taking action. I feel like you could be on a break with someone. Um, this is someone who's resting from the connection, really doing a lot of contemplation though, um, to almost to the point of anxiety. So I feel like this is someone who's resting um, in order to make a best decision on what to do next. They're trying to come up with a plan um, to come back to battle. Okay. Clarify for it, please, please. Why is this here? Goodness gracious. For it, please, please. Why is this here? Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So this is definitely someone who feels like they're not in a good point in their life at this moment in time. They feel like they're going through a period of bad luck. Um, they could have no control in their life, so they could definitely be dealing with some addiction, addiction issues. Like I said, they could be numbing themselves, having money issues too. Clarify Wheel of Fortune, please. Yeah, and some of you guys, this is someone who could definitely be very ill. Like I said, I am picking up someone here could have a sickness. Um, I also feel like this is someone who has like lost faith or is feeling very discouraged in regards to you. How they see you, we have seven of coins. So some of you could be working hard, starting your business, just getting your hustle, your grind on. With the seven of coins here, um, you're making things happen. Um, I definitely feel like you are just making things happen working hard, persevering, you know, trying to build, you know, enjoy the fruits of your labor rather, waiting for something, you're patiently planning. Um, clarify seven of coins, please. They see you in a positive light. How does this person see Pisces, please? For some of you, you could have been married to this person or lived with them, but this is someone who feels crushed without you. This is someone who feels crushed. Yeah, they feel that you don't want to work with them. They feel like the situation with you is really hard. Like, they feel like they they feel like you're not willing to budge. Um, you're not willing to, you know, give them teamwork or make that effort. They feel like things with you are very disorganized, but they do see you shining. 
Um, for some of you, if you guys got divorced, you know, maybe you got more money or got alimony, they could be upset with that too as well. But that's just for a few of you. But how this person feels about you, they really think you're complicated. With the Queen of Blades here, they know you're smart, you're intelligent, you're very observant. But I feel like this person feels that you're complicated. Like, what do you want? Like, what is it that you want? I feel like this person gets frustrated with you. Like, what is it that she wants? You know, I feel like this is someone who can't pull anything over you. I feel like, again, you're very smart. Clarify Queen of Blades, please. I also have Taurus Libra energy. But they feel that you don't want growth with them. With the Empress in Reverse, they see that you're focusing on yourself. Um, you're busy. And I feel like you're no longer nurturing the situation. Because with the Queen of Blades, you have found your voice. Um, this is also Queen of Swords energy. So this is someone who has found their voice, is not afraid to speak what's on her mind, and wants justice. So this is someone who feels that they have to be careful with how they approach you in a sense. I feel like this is someone who wants balance with you, but they're also kind of like with the Empress in reverse, she may not have the kindest, the Empress in reverse and the Queen of Blades, she may not have the kindest things to say or he or she, okay? I also have Libra and Taurus energy here. Um, I do feel like with the Two of Wands, there is some, someone's making decisions, someone's planning. Someone could be thinking about moving. Clarify Two of Wands, please, why is this here? Yeah, they're planning to reach out to you. But others of you who moved... So some of you who moved away from this person. Yeah, you have detached. You made a decision. You plan to leave. You detach from the situation. And they're angry. They're disappointed. Um, they're definitely disappointed. And I feel like the, the reason is because they did something to push you away. With the Seven of Blades, there was deception. But I feel like they're starting to be honest with themselves because it's in reverse. And I feel like that's why they're numbing themselves or trying to avoid you or they don't want you to see them like this because I feel like they're realizing their part in the matter. Clarify Seven of Blades, please. Why is this here? Yeah, and some of you have blocked this person because you don't want any you don't want any part with this person. I also have Taurus, Libra, Capricorn energy. You don't want to play this person's games. You don't want to fight with them over money. Um, for some of you, there could be money issues here, lack of resources I'm getting. Um, but the King of Pentacles is someone who can be very, huh, how should I explain it? Like, just with my personal experiences with King of Pentacles. <laughs> um, someone who can be very temperamental, someone who can be um, very bad with money, very angry. Um someone who could be an addict, okay? So I definitely feel like this is um, someone who's trying to overcome this, though. That is the positive thing. I do feel like this is someone who's trying to overcome this. Um, they're being honest here, and what are they being honest about? Um, you know, they ha may have been combative to you, or with the King of Pentacles, they may have not been very responsible in regards to the connection with you. This is someone who could have been very controlling as well, okay? But they're starting to realize that they pushed you away, okay? So they're owning up to the fact that they pushed you away. Action this person's taking towards you, I feel like they're still going to be conflicted. With the Five of Wands here, I feel like this is someone who's very conflicted. And I feel like they have a lot of conflict in their own life. And they're also conflicted on how to come towards you. Clarify Five of Wands. Will this person be taking action towards Pisces, please? Clarify Five of Wands. So what, yeah, see, it's like they're not motivated to do anything. This is someone who I feel like is just really disappointing. This is someone who's not following their heart. Um, this is someone who has lack of motivation. I feel like they have a storm in their life. I feel like this is someone who has a lot of conflict. And it's a very troubled individual is what I get. This is someone who's very troubled, um, has a lot of chaos, a lot of issues going on around them. I feel like they're not motivated, there's lack of passion, and this is someone who's just very disappointing at this moment in time. So I do feel like, you know, this is a very troubled individual, but they're starting to see the light. But is it up to you to put your life on hold and wait for them to finally get it? Absolutely not. Your job is to keep going every day, taking a step towards your success. 
and making sure that you're in such a positive and empowered position that if this person were to return to you, they are lucky if you would give them a time of day, okay? That's your job. Great, tell me about the energy of this connection, please. Tell me about the energy of this connection. Tell me about Pisces and their person, please. Ooh, too many. Okay, so we have mute. So yeah, this is definitely something that's been put on pause, that's been quieted. I feel like you stopped talking to this person. You just kind of got tired of it. Um, for some of you, this could have been a twin flame connection or someone who could be not, I don't like to necess necessarily say twin flame. Um, however you identify your connection, twin flame, unfortunately, is so exploited on YouTube. Um, it's so played out. Almost everyone thinks they're in a twin flame connection, and the truth of the matter is that you're not. Um, everyone has soulmates, but twin flame is extremely rare, okay? Especially if I have, like, 19-year-olds coming to me and telling me that they're twin flame or... It's like, no, they're not running from you. They're going to college. <laughs> so I just want to say that. Okay, and marrying. So yeah, well, some of you could be because twin flames often marry each other. So you guys could be feeling this person's pain. Uh, maybe you're in a similar situation as this person. But I definitely feel like this is someone who, um, you know, I feel like has taught you lessons. So don't really feel like no matter, just know that everything you've gone through in this connection was not in vain. And I feel like now it's time for you to refocus your direction on where it is that you want to go from here. Okay. So for those of you who have not spoken to this person in some time, what would this person like to tell their Pisces from their higher self? What message does this person have from their higher self towards Pisces? says it really was me not you so this person is subconsciously acknowledging that um, they had a part in the matter they pushed you away um, you are irreplaceable and this person's really starting to open their eyes to the fact that you were someone who could never be replaced you were a very unique individual very kind very loving it's really hard for me to open up Okay, so I, I do feel like that too. I feel like this is someone who's trying to avoid people right now, um, maybe not getting out of the house as often. Um, you know, with the magician in reverse, they're just not motivated. Um, I feel like this is for someone going through a very dark time um, in this current energy, okay? Spirit, tell me about Pisces, please. What message do we have for Pisces? children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there definitely could be children in the connection or at play that are affecting the situation. But also with children, I do get that childish energy. So someone could be very childish um, or very selfish um, in regards to the situation. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the effort, the steps you're guided to take. And what I'm really doing is associating this with refocus. I definitely feel like it's time for you to make an effort to put your energy and time in other situations. I definitely feel like um, this is, you can only do so much, okay? You can't make people change. People have to want to change for themselves. Um, and I feel like it's time for you to refocus and realize that you can't change everyone. And where the effort should go to is yourself, okay? Let's go ahead and see what other energies are here, please. Tell me about Pisces. Tell me about Pisces. Yeah, Maladi. See, Enfermo, um, I told you some of these people, some of you guys could be dealing with someone who's very sick. Um who might need service or might need help. So that's for some of you. Um, this person could be having some ailments. And house. So yeah, I do feel like they're stuck in their house or they're not getting out of their house. Um, this is someone who could be confined. 
and hope. Yes, yeah, I just get that like star energy here too. It's like this is someone who might be tied to a situation, um, but there's still hope. But all you can do is wish them well from afar. You, this is you know, unless this is someone that is simply just having a sickness and is your friend, or but I'm not getting that. Um, I do feel like you know when, especially when you take a vow, you know you you say sickness and in health um, in the states. And I definitely feel like, you know, when someone needs you, if they have an ailment or something like that, it's okay to be there and help them and make sure you stand by their side. But there's also a difference in, you know, certain things such as karmic issues or addictions. Is it your job to stay with someone who has hurt you or has caused pain to you or has maybe hurt children or you? Absolutely not. And all of your cases are very individual. Um, they all are different. So just apply it to how it would appropriately fit your situation. But Pisces, I'm going to leave it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a personal reading with me where you go more precisely into your specific situation. All that information is always down below. I wish you guys love and light and I will catch you on your next video. Bye Pisces.